Welcome back. LPG card holders whose cards are old, who have not submitted address and photo ID proof or having dual connection will have to submit KYC forms by 31st October. Guest dealers say rest can take time to fill in the details. At present, state guest dealers are witnessing chaos and confusion over documents. Some of the people have become agents to fill KYC forms. Our company has two types of customers in the list. One is customers having the same name and the same address. The customer has no name and the name of the customer. The customer has one picture of the customer. This is the list of the customer. And the other is having different name but the same address. The name of the owner and the connection holder is the same address. The address is the same. यह अशे जानचे लिस्ट आसा यह लिस्ट तां जे लोग इंक्लूडेड आसा त्या लोग कहाँ खातीर वो केवाईसी फॉर्म बुरुन 31 अक्टूबर पहली दिवाप कंपलसरी आसा पुन जनरल पब्लिक का खातीर 31 अक्टूबर परियंत ही डेट डेडलाइन थोरुंग शकना कैप्टन ऑफ पोर्ट्स हैज रबिश्ड ऑल द एलिगेशंस मेड बाय यूनाइटेड बाजमेन एसोसिएशन Union had claimed that Captain of Ports granted NOCs to one of the barge owners without verifying original documents. Union claims that the documents were bogus. Captain of Port authorities say it is nothing but an attempt to malign image of the department. Prudent Expose on Saturday revealed that the Captain of Ports allegedly granted NOC to one Karim Madgaonkar by accepting fake documents. Captain of Ports James Braganza has rubbished the claims. So they have a some deal to make with them probably that's the reason they insist they insist that i take a noc so i have nothing to do with the noc which they are insisting on regards uh, forgery they claim their document was forged if their document was forged they should lodge a complaint it's not my duty praganza also said that the allegations are being made to malign the image of the department they said that they received threats from whoever concerned people. So if they had received threats, it is their duty to go and lodge a complaint and not to put the blame game on the department. Okay. So that's my clarification. Because they have also been involved in corruption practices. Asking for NOC from me, they want to ensure that their corrupt practices are encouraged. Okay, so this is all to discourage their illegal and corrupt practices, what is going on in the industry. A reporter from Panji Mahesh Ghadi with video journalist Dinesh Karpe. Holding previous Congress-led government responsible for neglecting IT sector, Goa Chamber of Commerce and Industry is hoping for parivartan in the IT sector with a change in government. Chamber claims that new IT policy will be declared by the end of October, which would control brain drain. On Monday, GCCI President Mangirish Pai Raikar informed that for the growth of IT sector and to give boost to IT students, new IT policy is being formulated, which will likely to be finalized by the end of this month. We are expecting it to be uh, there by the end of this month. Because, uh, see, from our side, we have given all the inputs we also help them to you know come out with the schemes uh, giving them whatever is necessary from the uh, rest of uh, we are taking the queue from the rest of the country gcci has organized a day long seminar on alternative models in it industry chairman of it committee girish bharne feels that the situation in it sector will change with the change in government I think the one of the reasons, uh, the main reasons I, th I think would be the government support that would have required which we didn't get in the past. With the change in the government, we are hopeful that uh, you know things will change because the chamber itself is in discussion with uh, the IT committee is in discussion with the director of IT about the policies to be framed, what are the type of policies that would be required and uh, it will be part of the, as, as we understand it will be part of the overall industrial policy uh, that is going to come with sp some special impetus for the IT industries. Reporter Mahesh Ghadi with video journalist Dinesh Karpe. Congress member Sudip Tamankar has demanded stopping of the Laddi Lakshmi scheme with immediate effect. Sudip in a press conference claimed that the scheme is becoming a reason of dowry harassment in Goa. 
He also alleged that the BJP is starting the scheme to lure the youth to vote in their favor. Sudeep claims that there are various cases of dowry harassment in the state over the custody of 1 lakh rupees of the scheme. अशे दिसो दिवंग लागलेले असा की 18 वर्षा कंप्लीट झाले अपरान पय जी स्कीम पय दिता ती खयतरी मोठा मेळोपाक म्हणजे 18 वर्षा झाले अपरान मतदानाचा हक्क येता म्हणून और मतदान मतदारक ते हे की खोटे हे दाखवून त्याची मोठा घेऊपाचा अंगासर प्रयत्न जातो असा आम्ही आरोप करता सरळाच्या प्रेस कॉन्फरन्सान जो त्यांना सरकारान या एचर सीरियसली विचार करतो आणि या लाडली लक्ष्मीक लागून जी उंड्याची प्रथा पय जी गोयन थंडावलेली पय ती खयतरी आज परत तकली वयर काढूंक लागलेली आहे कन्यादान योजनेन सुद्धा जर किती जर चेंजेस जाय जर त्याच्यावर मॉडिफिकेशन करू येता सरकारान आणि ती इम्प्लिमेंट करू येता सुदीप ऑल्सो स्पोक ऑन दी माइन्स डिपार्टमेंट जिओलॉजिस्ट दत्तात्रय भावे सुसाईड केस पण अजून पर्यंत मुख्यमंत्री जो इन्वॉल्व असा त्याच्यावर कंप्लेंट केल्या त्याचं स्टेटमेंट घेऊ ना डायरेक्टर ऑफ सेक्रेटरी ऑफ माइन्स यांचं स्टेटमेंट घेऊ ना पण मला दिसता की हंगासर परत परत मला जे समन्स धाडटा ते हेरेसमेंट करपा धाडटा असे दिसून येता आ रिपोर्ट ऑफ फ्रॉम पणजी प्रतीक परब विथ व्हिडिओ जर्नलिस्ट दिनेश करपे लेट्स टेक अ शॉर्ट ब्रेक स्टेट युंड